Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with My Hero Academia. Last time on My Hero Academia, we finished off Season 1 with In Each of Our Hearts. Um, continuing on, after uh, the defeat of Nomu, uh, we still had to deal with uh, Shigaraki and Kurogiri. Uh, luckily, we were able to stall out long enough for the rest of the UA staff to come in and help save the day. Um... After which, uh, everyone was uh, recovering, and everyone was, you know, kind of just trying to move on from the day they just had. And um, Midoriya and All Might were in the infirmary with Recovery Girl, and uh, All Might said, you know, I, th I, think, I think my power's been shortened again. You know, he said, you know, I'm, I don't even know if I can last an hour in, this, in that form anymore. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna have to see what that's all about. I hope... I don't know. I don't know. He's gonna have to say... He's gonna have to tell the class at some point. Um, but, yeah, let's see what else. Uh, we also met, uh, All Might's detective friend, the only other person, uh, other than, uh, Recovery Girl, Principal Nezu, and Midoriya that knows of the true power of One for All. And I guess that's pretty much that. Uh, and then at the end, we got the threat of a new villain. Um, as the Masters of the League of Villains is now going to start making their next move, which still includes uh, Shigaraki. So, yeah. That is pretty much uh, that episode in a nutshell. Um, this is where I say no spoilers. Just don't. Um... Just don't, don't do it. This is my first time watching through My Hero Academia, and I don't want to be spoiled on anything. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much that. The only other thing to say is that, um, uh, excuse me. Um, before we start, uh, this is the first episode of the season. Uh, and because it's the first episode of the season, uh, I am making full length for this reaction free. So if you want to watch my full, unedited reaction to this episode of My Hero Academia, you can head down in the description or to the pinned comment uh, on this video. And, um, yeah, there will be a nice little link. Uh, it'll say, watch full-length reaction here. There'll be a nice link. Click that. It'll take you over to my Patreon page where you can uh, sync up your copy of this episode of My Hero Academia with my footage of just me. Uh, so I don't include any of the footage because that's... That's really bad. That's a no-go area. Uh, but I made it. I make it as easy as possible for you to sync up your copy of the episode with my footage. And uh, if you like that, if you like full length, and you're like, you know what? That was pretty good. I think I want to do that all the time with all of your videos. Um, then, or at least all the My Hero Academia videos. Then uh, you'll already be on my Patreon page, so you can go and for just five dollars a month you can sign up to have access to all of my full-length reactions. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. So if you wanted to go do that, you can go do that now. Uh, and when you're done with that, obviously, be sure you come back here for the discussion. Uh, but for all of you that uh, just want to watch the edited reaction, let's go ahead and get right into that. Here we go. Hey, guys, I uh, just wanted to uh, cut in here really quick uh, just to tell you that... Um, my Hero Academia is experiencing some copyright problems, uh, only on Season 2, uh, luckily, uh, I'm not getting any problems with Season 1, but so far, pretty much every episode of Season 2 has been blocked, and, um, this started a little while ago with, uh, uh, the premiere, and I tried re-editing it and re-uploading it, but that just was not going to work out. So, uh, yeah, stuff is starting to get blocked, um, and so instead of trying to keep re-editing and re-uploading and all that stuff, uh, we're gonna do what I have to do with Merlin and with Death Note. Uh, My Hero Academia is unfortunately going to have to go to redirects. Now, what on earth does that mean if you haven't seen uh, my other reaction series that do this? Basically, what it means for you is that uh, the reaction portion of the video is actually not going to be in the video at all. Uh, basically, if you want to watch my highlight reaction where, you know, it's the edited footage and stuff like that, uh, you can go down in the description or to the pinned comment uh, on this video. There'll be a link there. It should say, 
uh, like MHA, and then I'll, it'll give the episode number, and it'll say reaction highlight, and there should be a link, most likely to Google Drive. Uh, if you click on that link, you'll just go there, you can watch it, you can have a good time, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can provide you with a good time with my MHA reaction. Um, and once you're done watching that, you can return to the normal YouTube video and watch my discussion. Uh, which it's very, very important that, uh, you watch the discussion. That's always a huge help when you watch the full YouTube video. But yeah, um, this is unfortunately what's just gonna have to happen for MHA now. Um, I was hoping that this wouldn't happen because, you know, season one did well. Uh, we didn't really get any copyright problems, but season two for some reason. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, like I said, if you want to watch my reaction, pinned comment, also in the description, you can go, you can watch it, hopefully have a good time, and you can head, uh, right back here, uh, for the discussion. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Once again, I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry about, uh, the inconvenience of having to click an extra link to watch my reaction, but, uh, but you can still watch it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Um, I need to go back really quickly. Only 50 minutes. 50 minutes? Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Well, 50 minutes using his power. He can look like... He can at least be in that form longer. If he doesn't do anything with that power. So, yeah. Interesting. Alright. Okay. Man, they, they packed a lot into that one. They definitely packed a lot into that... Um, into that uh, premiere. I really enjoyed that. Um, oh, 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 I almost forgot. I need to go back and check. What did he say? Uh, where was it? God, they really did pack a lot into this episode. Instructor, they may come when I must trouble you, my old teacher, for advice. Huh. I want to see that guy. Toshinori Yagi. That's All Might's name. Alright, I've been wondering for the longest time, what is All Might's name? And now, we actually know. We know his name. Toshinori Yagi. I'm probably butchering that. You know what? How does he say it? Toshinori. All right. So that is All Might. That is All Might's teacher. So he honestly. So this guy also would have one for all. Isn't that interesting? He must have been like the symbol of peace before All Might. Maybe. I don't know. I don't, we don't really know much about All Might's predecessors. But yeah. Oh, rain's starting up. Yeah, uh, it's it's incredibly cold here. Uh, incredibly cold and incredibly rainy today. So yeah, granted, it's like six o'clock at night. It would be dark out there anyway. So yeah. Alrighty. So man, I they they really did. I feel like packed a lot into that into that premiere. And yeah, you know we're it's almost seven minutes into the episode. You know, once they get done with, um, once they go through, like, the intro and Deku's intro and the new intro and, uh, uh, All Might's letter to his master. So, they really do pack a lot in here, I have to say. So, yeah, I like that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go over the notes. Um, okay, so, yeah, Tasha... Toshinoro Yagi. Toshinoro is how he said it. Toshinoro Yagi 
is All Might's name. Isn't that interesting? I never thought, like, I figured, I don't know. I kind of just thought, like, maybe that would, ju would just be something we just never know. You know? It's just like, oh, well, what's his name? His name is All Might. You know? He kind of always goes by All Might. You know, everyone, even, you know, the, the faculty at USJ just call him All Might. Um, nobody really calls him by, by his real name. So that's actually interesting. Maybe, like, that's something... Like, his real name is actually, like, you know, that much of a secret. He keeps that between, like, his master or, um, his master or, I, I don't know if his parents are still alive. Um, that would be interesting. So, yeah, to Toshinoro Yagi is actually All Might's name. And there we did see, uh, All Might's master. Um, you know, All Might did say in the letter, like, okay, I'll, I'll keep you... I'll, I'll write to you again, you know, when more stuff has happened, basically. So, uh, that's interesting. You know, he's kind of going to his master for advice, which is also really cool because, you know, All Might's looking to retire here, you know? He's looking to retire from being All Might. You know, he has to pretty soon pass this, completely pass the torch to, uh, to Midoriya because, you know, he's, he's running out of his own power. So, but I like that even though he's pretty much at the end of his career, he's at the end of his career, he's looking to retire and, you know, pass the torch on to Midoriya, he still, you know, goes to his master for advice. I think that's amazing. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, we got the discussion on Shigaraki, uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, the USJ faculty. Now, there was one chair that was empty, I would assume that that is for uh, Aizawa and like, oh, well, he, he was recovering, so he wasn't there. But it's like, you know what I did realize? And I, I should have mentioned this during the reactions. Like, there's one empty chair in that uh, faculty room, but there's two teachers missing. There's 13 and Aizawa. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. It's like, well, where does 13 sit? Unless she just stays at the USJ all the time. But that doesn't seem right. I don't know. I just thought that was a little interesting little detail. Um, but whatever. So, yeah. So, we got the discussion on... Uh, we got the discussion on Shigaraki, which was pretty interesting. And, you know, basically coming to the conclusion that he's some sort of man-child. You know, he it doesn't seem like he's ever been told no. You know, he was really relying on Nomu's quirks. And he didn't really talk about his own power at all. Um... He didn't talk about his own power at all, and, you know, when his plan started coming, you know, unraveled, um, he was very visibly upset by it, you know, and, you know, he, he basically, I don't know if they said this, but it is something to note that he, you know, he needed reassurance from Kurogiri that they could do this, you know, so, yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting, it's like he kind of has the same mentality as as the students he's some sort of like he is basically a man child who has no experience in doing any of this um so that was interesting an, an interesting talk on shigaraki it kind of you would almost think it would make him like even more dangerous maybe but i don't know so that was pretty cool uh listening to all of them like talk about it and i love you know when all might is like kind of going through uh you know basically his encounter with shigaraki um, like going through it, it's like it, it's interesting to hear like all these heroes like process. They're basically doing their hero work. They're trying to figure out these villains. So that was really cool. Um, so yeah, and you know uh, Nezu basically saying, you know, it's possible that Shigaraki is also guided by someone, like the students are guided by uh, the UA staff. Um, so yeah, they're kind of alluding to. Uh, some sort of master, which we saw at the end of, uh, we saw that at the end of, uh, season one, that, uh, he does have a master, Shigaraki does have a master, you know, these people that are even above the League of Villains, so, that was definitely really interesting. Um, so, then we went back to, uh, Class 1A, which was pretty good. Um, we get a bit more of, uh, Invisible Girl. I wish I knew her name. Um, yeah, we got a bit more of Invisible Girl. 
And now she's... So basically, her costume is just two gloves. And the thing is, she's constantly invisible. She is constantly invisible. So there's no, like... It's not like the invisible woman where she can, like, turn it off, turn it off or on when she needs to. It's like... No, she is completely invisible all the time. But... So that means her costume is just two gloves. So she, when she is out in the field, she is just constantly naked. It's like that, that's very weird, actually. Um, but she, I guess she just doesn't have a costume. See, she needs some sort of costume that, you know, will, you know, be clothes, basically, but then will become invisible when she needs them. You know, it's, a, that's a tricky thing, the invisibility quirk. The invisibility power. So, um, but I, I, I like it. You know, when she was fully dressed, it was actually just kind of funny. It was just floating clothes. It's just funny. For some reason, it's just this, you know, classic thing of just the, invi the invisible man, basically. Just something about it is just kind of cool. Just seeing, like, clothing float. You know? It's just kind of funny. So, yeah. And actually, as I was watching that, I was thinking to myself, you know... Like, every girl in this class is awesome. Like, because you can't say that about the guys. The guys, it's like, okay, Midoriya, Ida, Todoroki, uh, Bakugo to an extent, just because, you know, we've had a lot of him. Uh, but it's like, yeah, most of the guys, it's like, I don't know, they're there. There's Naval Laser Guy. Yeah, he's just kind of, he's kind of annoying, honestly. Mineta, he has his moments, but, eh. But it's like, and, th and then you look at all the girls, like, Vreen... Uraraka, Yaoyorozu, Invisible Girl, I need to learn her name, uh, Sue, oh, shit, um, oh, the Earplug Girl, I need to learn her name too, and, uh, Mina, uh, who I kept calling the Majin, I think that's all of them, actually, I do think, yeah, yeah, cause, cause this is nice, now that I know, and, you know, this was really highlighted, like, um, this is really highlighted now in this new ending that we have where um, where it shows just all the girls just, like, hanging out and having fun. It's like, yeah, honestly, all six of them, I like them. They're awesome, man. Whereas you cannot say that about all the guys. It's like, yeah, uh, Midoriya, Ida, Bakugo to an extent, Todoroki, uh, oh, uh, oh, Kirishima, that's it. Yeah, Kirishima. Um, but other than them, like, most of the other guys, I don't know, they're just kind of there. You don't really get a lot of them, but they're, they're really, I don't know. They're, they're given as, as many scenes as they can to all these girls, and I'm liking it. They're all great characters, so yeah. Aizawa's okay. Uh, okay. Um, Aizawa is able to stand up. Both of his arms are still in casts. And his face is completely covered. He does have his eyesight, though. Luckily. He does have his eyesight. But he's gonna keep going, because he's like, screw it. It doesn't matter if I'm, you know, it doesn't matter if I'm injured. I still gotta teach this class. Which, good on him, you know? Honestly, again, sign of a hero. Sign of a hero. He's still doing, you know, he's still doing his job. He's still there to train those kids, even if, yeah, he's not in the best condition right now. But he's in a good enough condition where he can stand up and teach them. So, that's at least something. Uh, so I wonder if it's, I don't know, it might be a while before uh, Aizawa fully recovers. Um, yeah, I don't know, and even if he does, there's there may be some permanent, like, lasting thing with him after that attack. We'll have to see. Uh, we got the introduction of the sports festival, which I can only assume is going to be our next arc, basically. So, yeah, we had the introduction of the sports festival, basically the Quirk Olympics, but they're not the Olympics. Like, the actual Olympics apparently don't... Th I guess they never allowed Quirks, so viewership is way down on that. But then, uh, the sports festival, um, the UA Sports Festival... UA, UASF, 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 yeah, uh, the UA Sports Festival is now the most viewed tournament in the world, like, that is crazy, so, so yeah, and that's where, like, everyone gets noticed and stuff like that, like, you know, 
all these people can be noticed by agencies and stuff. Now, granted, now you guys may have to tell me in the comments, like, when, I don't know, how long has it been since class started, you know? It, it like, they make it feel like it's only been a week since class, since they started this, this year of school. Maybe it's a month later, but I don't know. Because, see, they also say, like, you know, at the beginning, like, it's only been a day since the attack on the USJ. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long it's it's been in time. You guys are going to have to tell me about that. Because, yeah, it's like, if we're still, like, if we're, like, in the second week of class and they're already moving on to the sports festival, I don't know. That doesn't quite, that doesn't seem quite right. Uh, you guys will have to tell me. But, uh, yeah, the sports festival, uh, which we saw a little bit of uh, in the intro, too. Um, with all of them, like, you know, doing their stretches and they're in their, uh, they're in their UA outfits. I kind of want one of those. It probably doesn't work on me because I'm a little hefty, but, um, <laughs> uh, hey, maybe if I had one of those, it would inspire me to, you know, lose this fucking gut and shit. Um, but yeah, we saw, we did see, uh, some stuff at the US, or not the USJ, but at the sports event, so... Um, so yeah, that's interesting. I'm looking forward to that. Holy crap, we're only halfway through my notes. Not even. We're not even halfway through my notes. So, oh my gosh, this is a long discussion, I know. But hey, it's a premiere. This was a packed premiere. And again, I love this show. I'm so happy. I'm, I'm always happy when I get to watch this show. It's the highlight of my week. It's the highlight of my week watching this show, and like I said, this is my favorite show I'm watching on the channel, and probably one of my favorite shows of all time. Love it. Um, okay, Ochako, Ochako got very competitive. Like, she was really, like, like, that was, I, I don't know, they didn't really, like, go into it that much, but just that, that face she was making, like, oh my gosh, it's crazy, man. So... So yeah, uh, that was that was kind of funny, just like seeing her just like going nuts, like yes, we are going to do the best. I'm going to do the best I can and stuff like that. And then uh, afterwards, they were talking about why uh, why Ochako wants to be a professional hero. You know why she came to UA, and she said she wants to. She's doing it for the money. Now, initially, if you heard that, it's like, oh, well, just doing it for the money. It's like, well, that's not a good reason to do anything, you know? You should do what you do because, you know, uh, because you love doing that, not just for the money. But the reason she gives, I have to say, is pretty damn good, you know? And even before that, you know, even before she even gives her explanation of that, Ida is like, well, you, you, want, you want to be able to support your life. It's a... It makes sense. You know, he's already, like, you know, given these reasons why, you know, her reason is good. Uh, but then she goes into it, you know, she wants to support her family. She wants to make money for her family. Um, and, you know, she's always wanted to help in their construction, in their construction company. But her father, her father being the great father that he is, apparently, um, is like, well, no, I want you to pursue your dream. Well, I guess this is her dream. Now, granted, it's most—it's also—it's also possible that she does honestly want to become a uh, a hero, you know. Because I feel there's other ways of doing this, other than there's other ways of getting money, other than just being a hero. But I think she's combining her love of being a hero and her desire to support her family, basically. So, yeah. Oh, and we got that, that flashback, that heart-wrenching flashback of baby Ochako. Oh, it was adorable. So, so yeah, that was that was pretty interesting. A pretty interesting reason. Because, um, yeah, you know, one of those... A reason like that is like, oh, well, I'm just doing it for the money. But she doesn't do it. It's like, oh, well, she just wants the money. No, she wants to support her family. To do that, she needs money, and to get money, she needs to be a pro hero. So, you know what? That is a solid reason. I like that. Uh, then we got the talk with All Might, um, and saying he only he can only he can only fight in his All Might form 
um, for 50 minutes. That's how much time he had. And before this, before this whole USJ thing went down, he had about three hours, basically. Well, he had three hours. He said he had three hours, and then um, the the creature attack in episode two reduced that, and then the USJ reduces that even further. So now it's only 50 minutes. And he would be lucky if he's not, you know, exerting himself in that form. He can he can possibly remain in that form for an hour and 30 minutes. Just to, you know, stand around and look like All Might, basically. So, that's interesting. He's really... He's really, you know... He, he's losing it, basically. But at the same time, that just strengthens his resolve to train Midoriya, basically. It's like, alright, I'm 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 running out of time. It's time for you to take over, basically. Um, and they do mention that um, Midoriya is working... You know, he's getting closer to, his, to achieving mastery over his power, basically. So, you know, he did mention that you know, when he attacked Shigaraki and, you know, was basically blocked by Nomu, um, you know, he wasn't thinking about that attack. He was just doing it. It was Ultra Instinct, honestly. Uh, he just did it, and he subconsciously held back enough power to not kill his adversary and also not shatter his arm. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Subconsciously, he can do that. The problem is, that was all a subconscious attack. That is not normal. Most of the time, his attacks are going to be conscious decisions that he makes. So he needs to work on how to do that. Like, like he did with the Delaware Smash. That was a conscious decision to do that, and it shattered his fingers. So he still needs to work on it, but he's getting there. He is getting there, and this sports festival is going to have to be where he really proves himself. All Might even says that. It's like, this is where you have to prove yourself to be my successor. You need to go there, show the world what you are, walk in there and say, and just say from the bottom of your stomach, basically, I am here. Oh man. And God, I was clenching my fists so hard during that. Um, I'm about to turn to history of trunks. It's going to start bleeding because I'm clenching so hard. Uh, no, I'm not that strong. Um, but anyway. But yeah, this sports festival is going to be the debut of Deku, the next All Might. Which is pretty interesting, you know? We're already basically getting into that. That, you know, um, we're already getting into uh, Midoriya taking over. Because I was kind of thinking like, okay, well we still have a long way to go in Midoriya's journey. So, we have to figure out basically... We have a long way to go in Midoriya's journey. I was almost thinking like, okay, well maybe All Might will try training a bit more so that he can, you know, get some of that time back. But that doesn't seem to be where we're going. All Might is losing more and more time in his form, and so Midoriya now has to get going on becoming the next the next All Might basically. So yeah, and that is what the sports festival is going to do because all the heroes, all the up-and-coming heroes get noticed. This is where Deku needs to debut to the world. But in order to do that, he has to have... He basically needs to master his powers. He needs to master his powers, and that is going to be the hard part. But we have 24 more episodes in this season, so we'll have to see. It would be amazing if this sports festival went for the entire 24, 25 episode season run. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to definitely see. But uh, strap yourselves in, because we got a long one. Um, but I'm I'm excited. I'm so excited to get to that. And yeah, we've got a long way to go. Midoriya has a long way to go. But goddammit, we're going to get there. So yeah, that was that's, that's the premiere. I'm excited. I'm ready, ready to get into this season. So with that all being said, I'm Alex from Simithour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.
Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my My Hero Academia reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.